Hi, I think most of you know me by now. Uh, I'd be surprised if you don't. I'm Richard Hall. I live in San Rafael. And I wanted to use this moment to basically just reread Measure Q. Measure Q is the mission statement of the trade. Your mission statement, which you are the governing body overseeing and ensuring this is delivered, which many of us taxpayers want to see enforced. You are the custodians of our money. Many of us cannot make it here in person, but many of us do watch these videos. Measure Q states to relieve traffic, fight global warming, and increase transportation options shall Sonoma Marin Area Rail Transit District be authorized to provide two-way passenger train service every 30 minutes during weekday rush hours, a weekend service, a bicycle pedestrian pathway linking the stations, and connections to ferry bus service by levying a quarter percent sales tax for 20 years with an annual spending cap independent audits and oversight, and all funds supporting these environmentally responsible transportation alternatives in Marin and Sonoma counties. I think many of us are starting to question the effectiveness of this board, and I would like to stimulate you to start asking the right questions, because we do not feel, or many of us who I speak with do not feel that the right amount of questioning and oversight is being provided. Many of you here have your names here on this cover sheet of this uh, our grant application. This grant application, Smart Successfully, was awarded $11 million by Caltrans to add third carriages, which it basically claimed would increase its ridership. And I think all of you have probably read the article. The claims were based on capacity. They were not based on actual ridership figures. The only ridership figures that exist, as you know, have been disputed by TAM and MTC and smart and dowling the creators themselves of those figures. So we have no real basis to understand the, the ridership. Needless to say, we're serving a suburban and rural area, and ridership typically in these locations is low. Again, we hear the myth propagated that we are fighting climate change. But here, based on these capacity figures, if we actually reduce it by the amount MTC says, not me, MTC says the capacity figures you presented were 30 to 50 times higher than the reality. Again, I ask you to question these things. Your names, all of you, are on this grant application. So your diligence is, is appropriate and much more needed than it has been to make sure that this is accurate. What actually has happened is the, the project has been awarded $11 million from cap and trade funds specifically allocated to, re, to fight climate change. If you run the numbers, you will find this train increases greenhouse gas emissions versus the cars that it will displace, cars that are becoming cleaner, cars that are emitting 200 grams per vehicle mile, sometimes per passenger mile, compared to a train that emits 10 kilograms or 20 kilograms, depending on your figures, per vehicle mile. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything uh, else that came up that you wish you, you wanted um, to respond to? Well, I can respond to Mr. Hall's yes. comment. Um, I just took a quick look at what Measure Q says, and it says provide funding supporting these environmentally responsible transportation alternatives in Marin and Sonoma. I'm not quite sure what his argument is with regards to the grant application. Certainly, uh, there was no um, uh, attempts to subterfuge on what uh, what capacity or, or I believe ridership issues were. Um, so, I... okay. Okay. all right. Yeah. So. The best way to describe where we are with the federal budget is, and I'm quoting from, um, from the memo we got from congressional staff, and um, this is how it starts. The path to, uh, to conference is very unclear right now. Uh, House and Senate Democrats and President oppose the House and Senate Republicans approved budget. So remember, we're 20 million in a $3 trillion disagreement somewhere in Washington. Um, each reduced domestic spending, you know, the House Republican and the Senate Republicans want to reduce House spending to provide increase in defense spending in the appropriate in the budget. The President is threatening to veto all bills until negotiations on the budget takes place. Senate Democrats are threatening to block the passage of fiscal year 16 funding bills until the negotiations begin. And the Democrats in the Senate have agreed, as you know, to basically kick the can down the road so the entire country's budget 
is now being kicked down to December 2016. And uh, that's when they will begin uh, negotiating about the budget. So the chances of us hearing anything uh, before December is very small. I continue um, having discussion with appropriate staffers and we continue to feel very strongly about where we are. Comments, yes. Um, Would you come to the mic or webcast? Uh, I just, Richard Hall, wanted to express confusion. Uh, I thought we had, uh, the public had voted a quarter cent sales tax to pay for this train to go from uh, Larkspur to Cloverdale. And why are we talking about uh, now appealing for additional funds? There was a recession, the building costs dropped, so why are we not getting the train that was promised? Why are we now seeking other funding? We can Thank respond you. later. Thank you.